Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have our first JK flip-flop circuit, and we're asked to draw the output waveform Q. So that is the output of the JK flip-flop, and we're given here a clock signal and the J and K waveforms. Uh, the clock signal is uh, rising edge triggered. So with that information, we should be able to figure out the uh, output waveform Q. So as always, give it a shot, pause the video, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to go ahead and draw this waveform, we first need to know what the outputs Q are for a JK flip-flop given the J and K inputs. So here we have on the left-hand side our inputs, and on the other side here we got outputs. The Q0 is just the opposite of Q. So whenever Q is 0, Q0 is 1, and vice versa. And to get the relationship between the inputs and outputs, we can go to the handbook on page 214. Here we got different uh, flip-flop circuits. We have the RS flip-flop, which is the reset set. We have the JK flip-flop, which is what we're interested in, and we also have D flip-flops. And right underneath it, we have the truth tables for each of these um, flip-flops. And we're just going to copy this directly from the handbook, and we're just going to write it here just so we can have it as a reference. So J, K, and I'll put Q. There are four entries, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. When both inputs are low, we get no change. When k is 1, that is like a reset, so 0. When j is high, the output is 1. And when they're both high, we toggle. Okay. So using this table, we can we can construct the waveform here. So let me change colors here to red. And we're not going to consider the um, the value of Q before the first clock cycle. So we're just going to ignore that, and we're just going to start at the first rising edge. So here we have six rising edges. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So for this first rising edge, we have j is equal to one, k is equal to zero. So looking at our chart here, we have q is equal to one, so we go high during this first pulse. The next rising edge, j is equal to 0, k is equal to 0, so we have no change. So q is high, it remains high. Next we have j is equal to 0, k is equal to 1, so it's going to transition from 1 to 0, so down low. Next, we have j is equal to 0, k is equal to 0. So again, that is a no change. This time, it stays low. So let's see. Stays low. Um, next, we have j is equal to 1, k is equal to 0. So j is equal to 1, k is equal to 0 is 1. So we toggle right back up to 1. And that stays 1 till the next rising edge. And lastly, we have both J and K are equal to 1. And that's the last case we haven't seen yet, which is a toggle. So we are high, so now we toggle down low. Okay, and that is the output waveform. Shade this in. So, did you guys get that? Let me know in the comments below, and until then, enjoy engineering.